Right, well we got this interesting black box in the other day. It is a very black box. Is it very interesting? Well, let's have a look. Ah! Well, there we are. It must be something to do with writing. And it has Chinese characters on it. So, it must be from China or possibly Taiwan. Let's have a look what's inside. Oh, hang on, there we are. All sorts of goodies. Well, read, learn and inwardly digest. But I think I can probably guess what that's all about. And here we have a couple of nibs. Very nice. And here we have a very surgical looking syringe. Wow. Let's pop that there. And here we have what appears to be a pen. And I wonder if that's not the most interesting bit. Let's have a look. Here we go. Try and get ourselves in focus here. There we are. And as you'll see, I've actually mucked about with this already. So, you know, I say it's an unboxing and you think, oh, this is the first time you've ever seen it. It's not, of course. There we are. So we have a pen here and we see we have that it has a converter in it um, and what I can tell you is that I bought this from a company called Fine Writing Equipment in Taiwan and what I can also tell you is that it says Jupiter there and then on the top you have the symbol for Jupiter there we are so this is Fine Writing Equipment and it is Jupiter and this is a nice looking cap with, yeah, it looks almost like ebonite. It's not, it doesn't feel like ebonite. It's, it's obviously some form of superior sort of plastic. Um, and it's much the same on the knob of the pen. It's got a converter in it. And as we open it up, we see it has a decent nib with a Nice bit of work on it, actually. Let's see if we can get this in here. Here we go. So, it's that logo again. And here we are. So, I'd better tell you a bit about it, I think. There we are. Let's pop that down. Let's try and get into focus again and possibly zoom in a smidge. How can we do that? We have the technology. How's that? Fantastic. Okay. So, this is an interesting pen. Fine writing equipment were brought to my attention by my colleague Tom, who said it might be worth having a look at these. And I'm, I'm glad I have done, actually. Let's have a look. Now, what's interesting about these is that, as you can see, it is a cartridge converter pen. There we are. Now, I also happen to know that it will take a standard cartridge. So there we go, it's got a standard cartridge in. And I'm going to take that out. I tell you, it's really difficult to orient yourself when you're working on the far side of a camera. There we go. So here we are, here's the nib. Um, but you'll also see, up we come again. There's a rubber gasket round there. And you may well be thinking to yourself, is this an eyedropper? And actually, you're not very clever to work that out because there's a syringe there. And what else could that be for? So here we are. We have an eyedropper. Now, this material here, if you get my newsletter, you'll probably have seen a video where somebody gives this a really good whack with a hammer and it doesn't break. So it's robust at least. There we go. Right, now I'm going to try filling it and I'm going to try filling it initially with water. I have actually filled it with pen, and with ink, and it took almost forever to uh, clean it out again. But here we go. Um, 
so let's let's just see how the filling works now i'm just going to pull back a little bit if i can there we are and bring in to play some water now if you look at this you will see it appears to be suggesting that it will take up to three millilitres of liquid so let's fill this up to the three millilitre point this is where focus could go wrong because i'm going to have to watch what i'm doing here so here we are pop that in there draw the water in we are okay um for the very squeamish amongst you there's no needle involved here at all actually pull the hair a smidge more right so i think we have probably got a fairly good three mil here there we go now see how much of this can go in before we reach the point where I think everything's going to start squirting out as soon as we put the lid back on. So here we are. Come back here. Are we in focus? Well, at the moment, I don't know, I'm afraid. So here we have that. Now let's pop this in. Well, it must be leaking out somewhere because there's no sign of it going in here. Oh, there we go. Well, I've got to say, that is three mil. Unless, of course, it's a totally fraudulent syringe, but I don't think it is. It looks to me like it's a fairly standard medical syringe that they have adapted. Well, hardly adapted at all, actually. Um, they are using for the purpose of filling a pen. So there we are. There we go. About three mil. Would you believe it? So I'm going to empty that out and I'm going to put the converter back in. And we'll have a little go at writing with it. Right then, typical skin flint that I am. I actually did a write test with this earlier. The video wouldn't focus at any point, so I haven't used it. But here we are, and the ink that comes out at first will actually be green because I had filled up the, uh, the pen as an eyedropper. Um, and I've got to say it was very well behaved. So let's have a look. This is a broad nib. Smooth, very pleasant indeed actually. I shan't try and do anything terribly clever, but I think I can sort of almost see you wincing as you think, oh my God, he's going to do some more handwriting. But I've got to say, it's nice and wet, good flow. Now the nibs, I believe, are from Germany, and I've got a feeling they're Jovo nibs. I can't swear to that. I'll try and find that out a little later. Um, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with the nibs at all, and very pleasant actually. Feels quite nice in the hand, that's very pleasant. And altogether, a writing experience that I could really live with quite easily. Now, I'm not entirely sure how much these are going to cost. I believe in the States they cost about $55, something like that. Now obviously that's tax-free price, and obviously there are going to be costs if I bring any into the UK. But I would imagine that a cost of around 50, 60 pounds is eminently achievable. Um, and I think it's quite interesting to have a pen that you can fill almost any way you like. Um, and yeah, a very attractive little, little number. So there we are. So this is fine writing equipment no, sorry, it's not. It's Fine Writing International, honestly. Um, from Taiwan, um, thinking about getting some in. I think they're quite fun. I also think they're actually quite good pens. So let's hear it for Fine Writing International and we'll see where we get to. Oh, another point I just want to make is that the there's a very tight seal here. 
as you pop the pen, you watch it pop out a bit. There you go. Oh dear. There you go. Do you see that? There's a bit of a spring there. As you tighten the pen, it engages with a little flange around the outside there that completely seals the nib unit in so this pen should not dry out. What I've got to say my experience with it so far is that it doesn't. So I probably commend to you actually Fine Writing International's Jupiter. If you have a look on the website and we'll post a link um, you'll be able to see there are lots of other scrumptious colours. Here we are. Okay.